Good morning everyone. Today is Thursday the 15th of November 2012. I am currently in Ties Hill, New South Wales, Australia. Um, today is my cousin Tia's birthday. Happy birthday, cuz. Uh, you can probably hear the wind. Turn this way, what you see is grey, nothing but grey. So, when you see weather like that, that's a bit of a dampener on things, isn't it? Um, I'm running a bit late today. Stephanie got to school about an hour late instead of waking me up. I slept in, so instead of waking me up, she um decided to sit there quietly watching TV, Spongebob Squarepants, and um, I woke up and realised the time it was 8.35, so 25 to 9, I was like, shit, jumped out of bed, started rushing, and Stephanie started getting her, brushing her teeth, I said, like, what are you doing, I'm making you a breakfast clown, and she's going, I'm late for school, and I said, I'm not sending you to school until you've had breakfast at least, like, um, morning tea up at the schools in about an hour but that's not the point I don't want to like I want to make sure she has breakfast before she goes to school that way um, if she doesn't eat her morning tea or lunch then at least she's had a good breakfast or a big one um, today I just made it a small one so she usually has about one and a half wheat picks the only thing I did was just give her one. Oh, something's just stabbed me in the toe anyway um so I have woken up sore, like I do every day. Um, only difference with today is I've got painkillers to help me out. It's funny, you see how I had to sit down? Oh, like I'm pregnant. <laughs> yeah, um, Stephanie's also been asking as well. I'm starting to think maybe Cole and Stephanie had a conversation about having another child, another baby. Either way, um, it's not them that has to do all the work. And the thing is, when we have um, children, like when I get pregnant, I have to go to the high-risk clinic up at the hospital, and I don't even think they've got one here. Um, I was at the hospital in Sydney every second day, so, yeah. That noise is still the same noise that I crossed past earlier when I was starting the recording. So yeah, I've got to go to the Horus Clinic and um, hopefully they have something like that here. But either way, when Stephanie was born, I got a marina put in. Now a marina is an IUD, but this one lasts for five years. <laughs> this is where it goes funny. It's supposed to be something similar to a tampon, so it's got a string. And apparently at any time I could pull it out if I wanted to. Didn't happen. Mine got pushed in and ended up somewhere else. So I've got to go to the hospital or something to get it taken out. Problem is only certain doctors are qualified to even talk about it, let alone get it out. Um, I've been to see quite a few and every one of them has said no. So I'm thinking of just turning up at the hospital and saying, Oh, I'm in pain. Uh, don't know what it is. Can you get it out? because it expired in May. Again, it lasts for five years and it is supposed to be 99.9%. .9%. Actually, it was supposed to be 100%, but then it changed, so I don't know. Protective anyway is better than the pill, better than the jab and whatever else they've had. I had implant on, which is like this implant thing that goes into my arm. Had to get it taken out because it got dislodged in another part of my arm yeah, dislodged. And I ended up having to cut it out, left a mad scar and everything, so... And I have had enough troubles remembering to take my medication, so that's not going to happen. Anyway, I thought I'd rest up a little bit more before I start heading back to my house. As far as I know, I don't have too much to do today, so... Should be a good one. That noise is a helicopter, but I won't be able to get it on recording. <laughs> Say so, yeah.